Hi everyone, this lesson is on simple counting presented by the Canadian Mad Kangaroo Contest e-learning. It is good for children in grades 1, 2, 3 and even 4. The instructional objectives are to explain how to count numbers in an interval, use simple arithmetic instead of counting, apply counting techniques to some situations, and to expose children to methods of proofs, proofs in mathematics. The first problem asks how many are all numbers between 3 and 20, including 3 and 20. And there are options here, however, we are not going to use these options, we are going to solve the problem regardless of the options. We have to find how many are these numbers, so I put them down here, all of them. And uh, are we going to count them? No. There are cleverer ways to find the number. Do you know how many are all numbers from 1 to 20? Yes, we do. They are 20. Instead of counting, we can remove two numbers from the first 20 numbers. And this way we can find how many are all numbers from 3 to 20. In other words, subtract 2 from 20 and we obtain 18 or the answer is B, 18. What I want you to notice is that uh, we uh, found the right boundary 20 and subtracted from it the left boundary 3 minus 1. So two numbers in front of 3 here. And this way we found how many are all numbers. This problem is uh, very similar. Uh, how many are all numbers between 5 and 91, including 5 and 91? We find the right boundary to 91, the left boundary is 5. We need to subtract 4 from 91. And this gives 87 are all numbers, or the answer is E87. Problem 3. Emma has found an old book with some missing pages. On the left hand page, the page number is 6, and the following right hand page is numbered 15. How many pages are missing in between? How many sheets are missing in between? Well, the pages from 7 to 14 are obviously missing. Or we need to find the number of pages from 7 to 14. And again, using the approach we learned, we have to subtract 6 from 14 to obtain 8 pages missing. Or this would be 4 sheets because every sheet has 2 pages on it. Problem 4. The boys and girls of a class of the class of Maria and Nicole line up in a row in the following way. Maria had 11 students behind her, one of them Nicole. Nicole had 9 students ahead, one of them Maria. Between Maria and Nicole there were 5 students. How many students in all were in the row? So let's draw a diagram. Maria, Nicole, we know there are 11 students behind Maria and one of them is Nicole. So we show this arrow here. Nine students ahead of Nicole, one of them Maria, and five students between the two girls. Let's show these five students between them. So how about behind Nicole? How many would be the students there? Since there are 11 behind Maria and we see five and Nicole, six, so there are five more students behind Nicole and there will be also three more students uh, ahead of Maria that will make nine students ahead of Nicole, one of them Maria. 5 plus 1 plus 3. So we are now ready to answer the question how many students in all were in the row and uh, 
you can do this by counting, direct counting, but imagine if there were more students, many more students, it's not going to be that simple to count. So we will show how we can find this using some arithmetic, simple arithmetic. So there were three students ahead of Maria and Maria and five students between the two girls plus Nicole and five more students behind Nicole. Altogether, this is 15 students in total. Now we will show a second way to solve the problem. Obviously, maybe you noticed this. Uh, there are 11 behind Maria, 9 ahead of Nicole. If we add these two numbers, 11 and 9, we are going to get a number that will include the five students between the two girls twice. So these five students will be added twice. 11 plus 9, we have to subtract 5 to get the number of students in the row which again is 15. Next problem. Three sisters all have dolls. Elizabeth has five dolls, Celia has three, and Vanessa has seven dolls. They decide that they should all share the dolls fairly. If they combine them all and redistribute them equally, how many dolls will Celia have after the redistribution? Well, I'll start again drawing a diagram. Elizabeth has five dolls, Celia three, Vanessa seven. All dolls are five plus three plus seven equal to 15. Well, five for each girl. There must be five in order the dolls to be shared fairly. Oh, Vanessa can give two of her dolls to Celia so that all girls will have equal number of dolls. Five. Same problem with different numbers. If Elizabeth has six dolls, Celia nine, Vanessa nine, how this redistribution will take place? Elizabeth has six, Celia nine, and Vanessa nine. All those are twenty-four. Or each girl should have eight dolls so that those are distributed fairly. Well, this can happen if Celia and Vanessa give one doll each to Elizabeth, so then all girls will have eight dolls each. This problem is about pizza and boxes. I hope you like pizza. Six different boxes containing one, two, three, four, five, and six slices of pizza, as shown in the picture below, were put into three bags, two boxes in every bag. The slices in the first bag are nine altogether, and those in the second bag are eight. How many slices of pizza are there in the third bag? We first can find the number of slices of pizza in all bags by adding the numbers from 1 to 6 and obtaining 21. I'll let you do this exercise on your own. However, I want to tell you a clever way to find this sum quicker by noticing that 1 and 6 give 7, 2 and 5 added give 7, 3 and 4 added give 7. In other words, we are adding three pairs of numbers which sum is equal to 7. All, all we need to do is add 7 three times to get 21 slices in total. Now we can find the number of slices in the third bag by uh, subtracting from 21 9 slices in the first bag and 8 slices in the second bag to obtain 4 slices in the third bag. It seems we answered the question how many slices of pizza are there in the third bag. However, wait a minute. Uh, please notice that the slices of pizza are in boxes and we put two boxes in each bag, not just slices of pizza. So we need to check now whether this will work. Let's start with the last bag where we know there must be four slices of pizza. 
and there is only one way to do that the boxy suite one and three slices then we continue with the forest bag because there is only one way to have uh, nine slices there by these two boxes of four and five slices and what remains for the second bag uh, fortunately is exactly eight slices of pizza so that works good job i'm showing you another way to solve this problem imagine that you didn't come to the conclusion to find the total number of slices but you decided to take two boxes of the six and place them in the bags so that this would fit to have nine slices in the first bag eight in the second and then this will give you the answer uh, for the third bag which is the answer to the question so there are two options to get nine slices in the first bag and this is if we use the boxes with three uh, slices and six slices and then if we use the boxes with four and five slices let's start with a three and six slices these boxes go in the first bag and then we have to find which two boxes will make eight slices for the second bag well by checking quickly the remaining boxes uh, with slices of pizza you can see that there are no two boxes that can add up to six uh, to eight slices of pizza so which means that this we assumed at the beginning that we can put three and six slices boxes in the first bag doesn't work let's try now the second option the boxes with four and five slices of pizza then for the second bag we can use the boxes with two and six slices of pizza and these are the only two boxes that would give together eight slices of pizza what remains for the last third bag is four slices in total of these two boxes or oh, this is the answer to the question again the same of course but of course we had to get the same answer thank you i hope you enjoyed and i prepared three more problems for you to try on your own goodbye